Yes, I told y'all I'll be back. This is Tiny Girl 53 webcam video. I hope y'all enjoyed my first two that I made. So I'm back today. But this time it's a little different. I want to talk about this girl on YouTube, and her name, they call her Isis Brown. Now, this is 2012. My birthday was December the 25th, and I made it, and I thank God for it. I weigh 260 pounds. And any type of inspiration and encouragement that y'all can give me to lose my weight, I'm willing to accept. Because of losing the weight, I will better my life and live longer. So anyway. I just happened to be fumbling through and I saw this big girl on here and it was like one something in the morning and um, she was dancing so I said wow I'm going to go in there and I put on me some shawl pants and a blow one some in the morning and did my hair. Put on me some lipstick. Average person would have thought I was crazy. Doing this shit one some in the morning. Sober. But she inspired me. You know. And I did me a video by Beyonce called One Plus One. Y'all check it out. It's on the Tiny Girls 53 webcam video okay this girl name is Isis Brown she can dance she can't sing now I put the shoe where it fits now she can't sing but this girl can dance and a lot of y'all done got on here and talking about she can't dance. She can sing, though, but she can't dance. Anytime that you that big and can do the damn splits, you can dance. Anytime that you can work your hips from side to side, and shake your ass the way she shake hers and that be you can dance so anyway there's people on here I kept thumbing through and can on and I didn't see any summer. oh Talking about Isis Brown. So I said, let me check some of these out. Cha. How can the pot call a kettle black? One of these bitches, I'm calling you a bitch because that's exactly what the fuck you act like talking about some damn body when you ain't no fucking better. Her hair was so fucking nappy. Until perm is just big enough. Come here. Come here. Come here. If you can't afford a perm, if you don't have the money, pressing combs was the first thing to come out before the perm. Please use one or the other. Then they had these two broads on there. Nice looking 
stalk ladies until they got to talking and then I found out they was bitches too. They talked about this girl doing a video with her panties on and saying the tag in the back of her panties was showing. I got something to see about that. When you see movie stars, when you see any actress, when you see any singer, they have a lot of hairdressers in there, makeup artists in there, clothing artists that stands there and makes sure you are perfect for the camera. She had nobody there but herself. So that's why her tag was showing. Then they had, then I looked at another one with this uh, homosexual. They had a few of them. I only looked at a few of them because I would get disappointed. He's sitting up there. And girl, you shouldn't do this. And girl, you shouldn't do that. And you should not dance like that because you can sing, but you really can't dance. Oh, child. How in the hell is the pot going to call the kettle black once again? You trying to be something that you're not. You ain't no damn woman, but you sitting up there talking in the camera about somebody else. Let me tell you something. I looked at a few more of them. Let me tell you something. All y'all that talked about this gal, look how many viewers watched y'all. But the view, the one that she was with the little with the panties on, she was going according to the the the, the she was going to the to, according to the lyrics of the record. That's what she was doing. According to what he was singing, that's why she was in her underclothes. But if you notice. She kept pulling her blouse down. And when she got and looked in the camera finally and she seen the white part of her panties showing, she tapped on her butt to pull that white part down so it won't show of her panties. If she knew that that tag was showing or realized it, she would have fixed it. <coughs> you understand what I'm saying? But that tape that y'all talked about, about her panties showing, she had over 250,000 viewers. Are you still jealous? That's what it is. Y'all are jealous. Are jealous, is jealous. Am jealous? Huh. Whatever. You're jealous. Look at your shit. You talking about her? You on YouTube too. Look at your shit. See how many viewers you got. Go to that go to that video where she was showing her panties and look at how many viewers she got that watched that. And then go to your uh, 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 video of you talking about her about that particular topic about her panties and 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 the and the tag showing and see how many goddamn viewers you got. In other words, shut your goddamn mouth. Now, what you need to do is get on now and tell her. I tell her my goddamn self. Ice Brown, I love your choreography and the things that you do for the world because you're doing it for the world to see. 
But I want to say this, baby. Don't do it just for the world to see because you's a big girl. I'm a big girl. Like I said, I'm a big girl. 58 years old and I weigh 260 pounds. Let them see you doing all of this because it's like an exercise and entertainment thing. And don't turn it into anything else where people talk about you. Let them see you doing this and stuff and you inspire them and stuff like myself, like you inspired me. And let them see the pounds fall off of you. Let them see. Give all them jealous motherfuckers something to talk about. You understand what I'm saying? Give them something to talk about. Let them say, hmm, is that the same girl that was doing that video with her panties on and the tag showing? Man, she lost a lot of weight. But one thing I can say about you, you ain't shame of your body, baby. Because any time you can stand in a camera for the world to see, you ain't shame. But me personally, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Big or small, I wouldn't do it. But let them see. Now they saw that and talked about you with your panties on and the tag showing in the back on camera, come back with them same panties. Oh no, you can't, you ain't gonna be able to wear them cause they gonna be too big. But try to get some with the color just as close and the pattern just as close as you can get it and let them see how small you done got. Give them jealous motherfuckers something to talk about. Oh, they ain't got nothing to talk about now. But you got viewers. I sat on here and watched one of the tapes where the producer want you to come and dance for him. Okay. Loving it. Loving it. But let them see you come down. Let them pounds drop off of you. Now, when I'm on video, when I'm on here doing my video, I, myself, personally, I make sure, I, I, I watch too much TV not to know what I'm supposed to do. But you are 18, and it take a person like me, uh, instead of criticizing you, well, you're probably 19 now, because that was, I saw only the ones in 2011. This is 2012. But if you're still around and ain't letting these haters stop you from doing what you love to do, then you... Let you let those pounds drop and just make sure that everything is put out of the way. Make sure, because like one of your videos I saw where your clothes was sitting over the banister, like you was upstairs or something. Put that stuff away. Make sure everything is clear out of the path of the camera. So them motherfuckers can't have that to talk about. When you're doing your video, make sure that you don't have too much makeup on, baby. If you don't have nobody there to help you do this type of stuff, to get you ready and stuff, because you got viewers out there, then you can do it yourself. Make sure that you don't have too much makeup. Them bat line eyelashes, that mess can go. You are not an, you not, they talking about you ugly. I didn't seem ugly. Now, girl, y'all talking about she's ugly. She's not ugly. Excuse me, Isis Brown. Come pat your man. Now, that is an ugly ass man. Now, y'all want to get on here and talk about her? That girl is beautiful. Compare to what she's sleeping with. I hope not every night. I hope just every once in a while. But she made 300 and some over 300 and something videos. So evidently she ain't got too much time for him. And he's so goddamn ugly until you never see him nowhere in the damn camera. 
Never. But he was on camera one time. And don't sit up there with the malt shakes with a Kentucky Fried Chicken box sitting over there on the couch. And this ugly motherfucker looking like E.T. Looking like he could eat an apple through.